Hello everyone, my name's Kate and normally I'm a behaviour specialist in the Waltham Forest Learning Disabilities team at Coleridge Road, but for today I'm going to be reading the news. I'm like you, I'm at home at the moment, so I'll be reading the news from my kitchen. There's a lot happening at the moment and it can all be quite difficult to understand. Sometimes people use big words or they speak very quickly. So we've been reading the news for you in a way that's a bit easier to understand. First of all, I'm going to give you an update about coronavirus. Coronavirus is the illness that's gone to lots of countries around the world and it's a reason that we're all staying at home at the moment. In the news yesterday, they said that 649 more people have died from coronavirus in the UK. This is a really big number and it can make you feel upset and sad when you think about all of these people. Um, sometimes we just look at the numbers, but each of those numbers is a person, and they're a person that will have been someone's family, and they'll have been someone's friend. Um, and it's important that we don't forget that. So that, that can be quite hard and quite difficult to think about and make us a bit upset. Um, but, there are some things that we can be more hopeful about at the moment. So the number of people that have been dying each week is going down. And yesterday they also said that there are 300 fewer people in hospital with coronavirus than there were the day before. And that means that less people are getting badly poorly or badly unwell and needing to be in hospital. So that's something to feel a bit more positive about. They also said that um, GP surgeries, so doctors are going to be open tomorrow, which is a bank holiday. And they said that if you're unwell, um, you need to still contact your doctor and let them know so that you can get the help that you might need. If you go to the doctor, um, they might be wearing special equipment like masks or aprons or instead of going to the doctor they might want to talk to you on the phone or speak to you over the internet instead if that's um, safer for you. So this is another thing that happened yesterday is the Prime Minister's questions. So the Prime Minister's questions happens in the Houses of Parliament, where Big Ben is, and that's where the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, who's in charge of running the country, is asked questions about what he's doing. Keir Starmer, who's the leader of the Labour Party, which is the second biggest party, asked Boris Johnson a few questions. Um, he asked why more people have died in the UK than in the other countries in Europe. Um, Boris Johnson said that at the moment we don't have enough details, we don't have enough information to properly compare the number of people dying in different countries. Keir Starmer also said that Boris Johnson has been too slow to stop the coronavirus um, spreading around the country and to stop so many people getting unwell. Um, and he also said that too many people have died in care homes. Um, Boris Johnson said that he's working very hard to get special equipment like masks and aprons to all of the care homes. And he said that the situation has got better in care homes over the past few days. We can only go out for exercise once a day. Um, but Boris Johnson has said that this might change 
um, but we're going to get more information on Sunday so we'll have to wait for more information about that. Also people who have a shielding letter, so people who have got a letter that tells them they need to stay inside at home and not go out will probably need to keep staying inside. All of this news can make us feel scared and worried and sometimes upset. So it's important that we remember to do things that help us relax and keep us happy and keep us being okay. So the next part of the news is going to be about those things. One thing that lots of people have found helpful at the moment is listening to the radio. They've found that that takes their mind off some of the difficult things and helps them to relax. Um, tomorrow is Friday and it's going to be a bank holiday and there's a special programme on BBC Radio 2. That's going to be at 2 o'clock on Friday and that's with Annika Rice who's going to be presenting a programme all about the 90s. So she's going to be playing songs from the 90s and talking about TV shows from the 90s. You might remember some of these programmes like Friends and Absolutely Fabulous. So that might be something nice to have fun listening to tomorrow. You also might li like listening to relaxing music and Smooth Radio, Smooth FM, plays lots of relaxing, calming, chilled out songs um, that can help if, if you're feeling worried. Finally, another piece of good news. Um, yesterday, Captain Tom Moore was given a gold Blue Peter badge. Captain Tom um, is a man who walked around his garden a hundred times to raise over £30 million for NHS charities. And the Gold Blue Peter Badge is a big award that not many people have been given. So only a few people like David Attenborough have been given that award, so it's a big achievement. Thank you for listening to the news. That's it for today. Um, enjoy the bank holiday weekend and take care of yourselves. Goodbye.